Hello, everyone. I don't hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Hi. How is your Friday going? All is okay. Everything's good. You have plans for tonight? Obviously not, right? But some people do. Some people have, you know, Zoom parties. I don't know. They talk to their family through a video call. So that could be the case. Who's that? Ah. Hi, Melvin. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good night. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Marvin. <laughs> All right. Turn your cameras on, please. I don't see Irania, Figueroa, Melvin, Maldonado. I don't see you. You said, I think I know. You've told me. All right, let's turn the cameras on. Thank you very much. All right. Last night, we practiced how to ask for requests, right? Who wants to give me an example? Of asking for a favor, requesting something. Examples, guys, come on. Eddie. Can you help me move into my new apartment? Could you help me move? Okay, what else? Very good. Eric Calderon. What happened? Can you give us an example of how to ask for something? How to request something? To request something? Yes. You see, can, could, would, would you mind? Uh, could you let me know about the classes last last day or yesterday? Uh huh. Could you let me know about last night's about class? The, last night class, uh huh. Or yesterday. Okay. Yeah, because I was not, I couldn't, couldn't be in classes. <laughs> so you were not in class. That's why it was hard for you. I okay. Was not. That's why. I I, that's why. <laughs> but but the example was correctly conjugated anyway. <clears throat> okay. So let's continue, guys. We're gonna go to the platform. Let's go to section two. We're just on time with this platform. This is exactly where we should be. Lenning, I see you're in class every night. That's good. <clears throat> Let me see who else. Eduardo Magaña, you're always in class. Enrique, I think you too. I, I'm starting to remember. Okay, let's begin with this section. Lenning, go ahead. In this class, you will practice using infinitive and gerunds for use, uses and purposes. For uses and purposes. Purposes. Purposes, like that. Purposes. Pur purposes. That is much better. Thank you. All right. So you know what we have to do, right? To get the notebooks out. Let's take notes. Pay attention. And write down the structures, every detail. Here we go. I'm going to play here so that you can see a bigger screen. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example. I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, 
I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Um, They're often it. used for paying. Use my computer for sending emails. We have four topics, two topics in this class, basically. <clears throat> Don't pay attention to this. Can you see my screen? Yes, right. Okay, pay attention, yeah. guys. So this is what we're going to do. We have um, use. Two and use two, all right? There was a D, that was a difference, all right? So one of them is the active voice, okay? Then we have passive voice. That is like the main difference right now. I don't want you to get confused. So within the active voice, we're gonna say, I use, I use my, Laptop to, and you need a verb. So the verb is not going to suffer any changes, right? And then you say, I use my laptop for, and the verb has to be conjugated in the gerund form, ing, okay? Here it's going to be base form. This is going to be conjugated with ing. Similar to what we did last night with mind. Mind was followed by ing. Okay, a general rule is that whenever you say preposition and you have a verb, you always have to write ing. Okay, so that's a general rule. It's not only applicable for this situation. Look, after a preposition, prepositions are, for example, at, on, in, <clears throat> by, etc. Use a use gerund. This is a general rule for everything. Okay, that is the reason why um, we're using ing in this case. So it's very simple. This part we're gonna practice later. Who knows what the passive voice is? Do you have any idea? Carla, you do? You're on mute. Sorry, no. <laughs> no? Ah, okay. Because you were talking, so I thought you were explaining or something. I was like, wow, she's going to explain. Yes, <laughs> okay. Does anybody know what, a pa what the passive voice is? Okay. So don't, don't worry about it. I will explain that later because it's going to be too much then. So pay attention to this, guys. It's exactly the same. Help me out. How are we gonna conjugate this? I use my laptop to, to do what, Saida? To work um, or my homework. I use my laptop to work. Good. Okay, or the same thing would be, I use my laptop or how do you conjugate that? Working. For working. That is right. So, to the base form and for turn, right? And it means exactly the same. Let's see some more examples. We're gonna say, I use my phone to, or I use my phone for, to talk, 
maybe yeah, I have to talk with with my friends. Okay, <laughs> you're like, why do you want to know that? With my friends, very good. Or I use my phone for talking or talking to my friends. Very good. It means exactly the same. It's identical. Is it clear? It is? Okay. Are you sure? What tense is this? Is this past, present, different. future? Teacher. Yes? There are different because in the second sentence you say, I use my phone for talking to. Or is correct say, I talking with? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You can use both. Yeah, both. I didn't know. I, yeah, let's say two for both. That is not yeah. part of the, the structure, okay? What you have to pay attention to is this. Yeah. The compliment, don't pay attention to the compliment. Right? But yeah, you can say talk with someone or talk to someone. You can say both. Okay. Okay. okay I didn't pay attention to it. But yeah, thank you. Because that may be confusing for other people too. Okay, so that is the only difference, but in meaning, there is no difference, okay? Is it clear? Yes? Yes, it was clear. Piece of cake? Yeah. No? More examples? <laughs> no, it's okay. For me, right. it's okay. Great. I guess not then. So, this is, what tense is this, guys? Is it present, past, future, continuous? What is I use my laptop? What tense? Present. Yeah, it's present simple. Or simple present. Okay, so it's very easy. Mm -mm. Okay, now let's talk about the passive voice. I think you're ready. Passive voice, how does it work? I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, look at me, guys. Um, when you have the passive voice, look, this is gonna be active. I'm gonna give you uh, an exercise or an example using the active voice, all right? We're gonna say, um, I already finished this, but we're gonna say, the teacher drinks Coca-Cola or Coke, all right? So who is the subject? No, I am the subject. Yeah. The teacher. Uh -huh. the teacher. The teacher, exactly. The teacher is the subject. What's the object in the sentence? The Coke. The Coca-Cola. The Coke. Uh -huh. Coke. Or Coca-Cola, either or. All right. And what is the verb? Drink. Drinks. Drink. Drinks, exactly. That's a verb. Um, the object is the one that receives the action. The action is drinks, right? And I'm not drinking me, I'm drinking the Coke. So the object in a sentence is the one that receives the action, that is affected by the action, okay? So mm -hmm. what happens in the passive voice is that the object goes first, and we're gonna say the Coca-Cola was okay, taken with. Is, because we're speaking in the present simple form right now, so the present simple form of the verb is is, okay? So the, the Coke is drunk by the teacher, it. okay? That is a structure. Let's see another example, okay? I'm gonna say, um, the example with the phone, all right? So I say, this is active. I, I use my phone to send messages. And now we change it here, right? We're gonna say the phone, the phone, the phone is, is used, used by the teacher. The teacher. Uh huh. For what? The teacher. For what? To for send a message. message. No, for sending. Oh. ING. 
or sending messages or yes. to send messages when it's the same. Is that clear? I will show yes. you the structure. So in the passive voice, the object is more important. You're not supposed to study this right now, but it's part of the topic. So we're gonna say, look, in this case, I use my laptop to work. I have to start with the subject, right? With the object, laptops, if it's plural, but now I'm gonna say, my laptop is, this is in the present simple form, used, right? This is past participle, to work. Or you can say, my laptop is used for working. Now this is the passive voice. Is it clear? I think we're gonna work with the passive voice only, all right? Because the first part is too easy for you. So we're gonna say in plural. If I say in general, laptops, okay? What can I say here? What is the verb I'm missing? Are. Are, are. exactly, it, because it's it, plural. Okay, yeah. Laptops are used to? Work. To? To work. No, another thing, guys. To watch Netflix sometimes, right? Oh. Yeah, these days. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or, <laughs> you can say laptops are used for watching Netflix. Is that clear? Yep. Okay, let's think of another object. Let me show you one. And this. What, what is this, guys? It's, they're dirty, sorry, but yeah. What are these? Glasses. Glasses, okay. We're gonna start the sentence with the object. This is a passive, so glasses are using on a word them used uh, to, see. to see clear to see clearly yeah that's good to see to see a newspaper clearly Yes, you can say whatever you want. Okay, glasses are used to read the newspaper. Very good. We can also say glasses are used for reading the newspaper. Okay. Good. So you have to pay attention to two things. You have to pay attention to this, if it's singular or plural, right? Pay attention to that. And then if you're gonna conjugate it with four or with two, that's it. Do you you can more? use the feature, you can use the passive voice for the simple present uh, when you say using for reading and the same, I don't know if it's simple past when you say used to read. No, it's not. Mm -mm. It's not simple past. I know what you're saying. No, no, no. When you say used to, what is your name? Lisset. Lisset, yeah, because I don't see everyone. Hold on. Lisset, let me see you. I don't see you, Lisset. Where are you? Okay, Pedro, Claudio, Marvin. No. Mira. Ah, because your camera is off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to find you. <laughs> I, I not ask you for the for for the phrase used. I know you're getting confused. I think with the uh, with the verb used to. So look, guys, don't confuse it, right? Eh, no lo confundan con solía, okay? Because this is I used to. No. I used to play um, hide and seek when I was. When I was little. Hide and seek is, but, do you know what that is? Condelero. Condelero, exactly. So, 
don't confuse it with this. That's a warning. If you notice, there's no verb be here. So this is another thing. It doesn't say I am used to. Like, so you saw para jugar, no, right? And it sounds bad. It sounds so sorry about that example, guys. <laughs> it's terrible, but we don't use the verb be here. So it's a different thing. It's another topic. Okay. What is your question, Lisa? Is that it? No, it's in the no. Mm -hmm. Because in the two sentences, for example, uh, you say glasses are used to read the newspaper, but the other font to, the other form to say is glasses are used for reading the newspaper. Mm -hmm. And both are and the the passive voice. Yes, the reason why both of them are passive voice is because you have the verb be and past participle of the verb. So this is passive voice right here. This part is a passive voice. This is a complement. And the you don't need to know the names, but this part is infinitive and this part is a gerund. So that is the name of the second part you're asking me about. Gerund. But both of them are passive voice, both. Is that better now, Lisa? I don't hear you, okay. So let's practice, guys. Okay, uh, we're gonna make a list of 10 objects that we use every day, help me out. Okay. 10 objects that you use every day, guys. Help me. TV. TV. Okay, what else? Cell phone. Cell phone, okay. Radio. Sorry? Radio. The radio. Table. The table, yeah, right. We're using tables a lot. Computer. Computer. Uh, your comp we already did a lot of examples with computers, so. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna pass. Sorry? Uh, desk. Uh, okay, I'm gonna replace table by desk. But I like right. table. Star book. The one, I'm sorry? The one, I'm sorry? Uh, oh, you know what? We're gonna add the internet, right? Lamp, teacher? Lamp? Plants. Lamp. I don't understand, sorry. Lamp. Lamp. At, at land. Okay. No. Okay. A fan. A fan teacher. A fan? <laughs> like this? No. Yes. Fan. Fan is. No. No fans. Fan. Ventilador? Yeah, oh, fan. I, I wrote it in the plural form, here. Ah, okay. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Ventiladores, yeah. Shoe? Okay. Shoes, yeah. We wear them every day, that's right, shoes. That's plural. What else? Water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more, guys. All right. Notebook, teacher. Notebook? Yeah. <clears throat> so we're gonna say no books, plural. Okay, and I imagine you know what we're gonna do, right? I want you to discuss all the usages of these objects in small groups. So you're gonna say, for instance, TVs are used to watch series, are used to watch the news, okay? You can say um, tables are used to eat dinner, to work, for writing, okay, for reading. So I need you to write, you're gonna start with the object and then write some sentences using for, discuss them and then write, okay, for and some sentences using to, combine them, use both, okay. 
You can write them if you want to, but it's not necessary. I only want you to discuss so that you can practice speaking, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Yes? All right, let's talk about that in small groups. So, mm, mm, yeah, there. Accept the invitation, please. Let's practice. I took, took a picture. Ah, he said. Okay. Okay, we have to make sentence with the pen objects. Using practice for yes, go ahead. Ah, he's here. The chair. We're gonna use active voice or passive voice. Passive. Passive. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. So you're gonna thank start you. with the object and then use to and ing both. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's do the first one. I will help you. Go ahead. Okay. First, TVs. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the TVs are used to watch uh, movies. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Okay. In the following example, use four. Okay. And then one the next object, one. two, and so on. Yeah. Very good. Good job. Okay. Use lamps. Uh, to see, to see clearly. Yes. What is the sentence again? And, uh, and the word is, is lamps. Uh huh. Okay. In my in my tour, I I will use fans. Okay. Okay. Fan, fans are used to when you. You have very hot or the square is very hot? Ah, oh, but after two, you need a verb. Okay, sorry. And fans are used I, to? I use my, I use my, my fan to, to sleep better in the uh -huh. night. Yep. Okay, all the, right, I would prefer if you use the passive voice. So fans are used to sleep better. Right. Okay. Good. So Saida, the next one. Try to use four. Use both two and four. You can combine them so you can practice everything. All right. Use for listening music. My what you for listening to music. Listen I like. Yes, listen for you. to for you. But I don't, I don't, I don't put the number two. Don't write. Uh, ah, uh, the cell phone is used to talk with other people. Yes. Are you doing the new examples? What? 
Are you making new examples? Yeah. Okay. So, what's the object? Radio. The next. Uh -huh. Radio. Ah, Enrique is the uh -huh. The it's radio. And the radio is yes, yes. Use four this time. Radio four, okay. Four, right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Okay. The radio is used for oh. what is the escuchar? Listen. You say listen. Listen. Uh-huh. For listening. The radio is listening. The radio is used for listening music. To music, yes. Used. To music. Say used. Used for it's listening to music. Very good. Anna? Okay. Um, I use my cell phone to to see my social media. <laughs> oh, okay. I use my cell phone for seeing my social media. Very good. You use the active voice. All right. Who's next? The cell that, phone that I use to, to that was the active. social media. Yes. Yeah. And we have to practice only passive voice. I would prefer if you practice passive voice because it's more difficult. Okay. Go ahead, Pedro. Tell me an example. I want to hear. Uh, okay. Cell phone are used to send messages. To send cell phone messages. are used. Yeah, cell phone are using. Are cell phone are used for used. sending message. Use. Used. Used. Use, use for sending messages. Perfect. Very good. Good job. Okay. okay. Uh, how many are you missing? What? How many are you missing? ¿Cuánto le faltan? Eight. Eight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> well, let's do it quickly. <laughs> Some people okay. almost finished. Test. Hi. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> I had a I had a question. Go ahead. It's a really question, but I had a, a very do it because in activity voice, I I have to to say, for example, she she use your lack to to do your homework or only it's about me. Oh yeah, you uh huh. That's a good question. No, you can say any verb. She uses she her uses? laptop to do her homework. Is that is the same structure only change with a verb only add s? Right. In that, oh okay. E s you add yeah you add s right use uses uh huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. You can use any verb, any subject. How many sentences have you done? In this moment, I, I finished the exercise, this exercise. Oh, everybody finished? Just yes. Yeah. All right, great. We're going to go back then. Here we go. OK. Okay, some of you finished, some of you did only two exercises, but it's okay. So um, tell me guys, three examples quickly. Teacher. Three examples, yes? Este, I, I, think, I think that the topic is not clear. Uh -huh. um, for example, we have we have problem to make the sentence with all things and with the words, right? 
and some someone I think that have problem and they are confused with the use to uh, is the question that the set was was made to you uh, okay but what is the confusion I don't can you try to explain it Benjamin um, it's for is uh, is is for the form to make the sentence, mm -hmm. right? And the words that we have to use. For example, uh, mm, not in all the, the objects we have to use use to, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we have to use no, other, word, case... other words. No, in this case, we're only going to use use. Use or use. That oh, is the okay. only verb we're working with. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, we have four possibilities, Benjamin. Okay, but the that's the only verb we're practicing right now, use. Because we're trying to, exp uh, to express the purpose. Okay, so we have uh, some possibilities. And we said, right, we're going to say... Laptops are used to work. Laptop. This is passive, by the way. Laptops are used for working. Okay. I or people. You can say she even. All right. She uses her laptop to work, and he uses her laptop for working. So. The topic is purpose, the purpose of an object, guys, or of something. So yeah, the only verb we're practicing right now is use. That's the only verb. Is that the question, Benjamin? Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? You confuse me. Um, okay, when, when, when you say us, uh, when when you say the passive uh, form, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you use are. Are? No, you can use are or is depending on the subject. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the subject. If it's singular, is. If it's plural, are. So I can say a, a cell phone. I'm going to write an example. A, a laptop, the same example. A laptop is used okay. we, work. Hmm? Okay. Okay, always we, uh, always, um, Always we can use the passive form when when I describe objects. And the active form is when I when when we use persons, right? No, not necessarily. Yeah, I understand that it's a chaos, guys, because <laughs> you never saw the passive voice before. So that's the problem. Hold on. Let's uh, meet the microphone first. Okay? All right. So there is no difference in this case. It, it, it would be, for example, la, las laptops son usadas para trabajar. O las personas usan las laptops para trabajar. It's the same. It's just the order changes. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, there's no difference. I mean, it, everything, everything here is exactly the same. One is active, one is passive, okay? El internet es usado para navegar o las personas usan el internet para navegar. It's the same. It, we just change the subject and the object, that's it. What forms describe a thing? To describe, no, to describe. with this we're going to describe the purpose. The purpose, oh, let's see. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. That's why we're using use, the use of something. What do we use it for? Or what do we use it to? Okay. Yeah. When I see, mm -hmm. excuse me, 
when I say I, I use the cell phone to call, uh, I use two. Is that confused? Okay, like this, I use my phone to call. To ah, call, yeah. this oh, too confuses yes, you. No, the confused teacher is the, the, the very use. Use. Uh -huh. Because you don't use the, when, when you talk mm -hmm. in the passive voice, mm -hmm. the, the very use is not, you don't use the, the verb in the base form. Yeah, I understand. So my phone is used to call. Mm -hmm. I think the better, because the verb changes, guys, look, okay. Listen, I will say it in Spanish because it's the same in Spanish, okay? We're going to change the conjugation of the verb. Yo uso mi teléfono para llamar, okay? O mm -hmm. mi teléfono es usado. No puedo decir es usar. Usado para trabajar, para llamar. Por eso cambia el verbo. That's the reason why it changes. Uh -huh. Son no usados just... para, es usado para. Eso estamos practicando. El internet es usado para, las cámaras son usadas para. Por eso el verbo está en pasado, usado. The, the structure for the passive voice. Yeah, I, I didn't know, sorry. I didn't know we didn't have a base on passive voice and I think that that's why it's, it's becoming confusing. We can do something. I'm going to write the structure, but we're going to forget about this for a second later because I will explain it tomorrow. So. I mean, uh, next week, the following week. Passive voice is object plus the verb be, okay? So the verb be means am, is, are, okay? We're talking about present simple. So object plus the verb be plus the verb in the past participle. So if you notice, we say phones, Mm -hmm. are use and then a complement for talking and the complement can change here to talk right that is the structure of the passive voice Passive voice, present simple. Sorry, guys. No, no sabía que no teníamos background, conocimiento de este tema, así que se me fue así todo el tema ya. <laughs> but we can do something. I'm going to try to fix it, okay? Se lo voy a compensar. Enfoquémonos en el activo, okay? Porque ese es el que maneja, no, no. Y la próxima semana les enseño passive voice, okay? Let's focus on the active voice because I need you to practice this topic. I want you to practice the difference between two and four. That is a topic, okay? Not passive voice and active voice, but I have to teach it to you now because it, it's included somehow. Although it's not the focus, all right? So I want you to practice, okay? Forget about the passive voice because I promise I will teach it to you next week. I mean, after vacation, all right? I don't want you to get more confused. So we're only going to work with the active voice right now, active voice. And we're simply going to say this. I use, we're only going to work with two subjects, okay? I use or people use. That's it. We're going to be limited to this, okay? So I use any object for or to, all right? And you know, ing or the verb in the base form. Where people use uh -huh. something or or to and the verb. The verb can be infinitive or ing. Right? This is all we're gonna do. Uh, I do some uh, some requests in the passive form. <laughs> so I gonna change all? No. No, 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 don't change them. It's okay. Okay. No, no, no. That's not what I'm trying to say. All right. Yeah, but the thing is that the exercise is in the passive voice. So anyway, you can focus on this. But we're going to play a game. All right. Pay attention, guys. 
we're gonna say simple as this is it used four or two you know that if you use four you're gonna use ing right that is already clear if you use two you don't need to use anything else just the verb in the base form okay you're gonna ask me this question right now that's it okay So look at the objects. Uh, did you see the image I sent you through WhatsApp? Car. Did you see the image with a lot of objects? Check the image and I will open it here too. Give me one second. So I will Which choose one? one of the objects. Sorry. Which one? No, that's what you have to guess. So hold on. Can you see my screen? All right. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so small. Okay, I hope you can see. So ask me this question. I'm gonna think of one object. Okay, but you don't know which one it is, so you have to guess. Tienen que adivinar, okay? You have to guess the object I'm thinking of. So ask me the question. Um, is it used for, for eating? Is it used for working? All right. And I will say yes it is or no it's not. And then you continue until you know the answer. All right. So ask me questions, guys. Is it used for opening the door? Um, hold on. I never cogido Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. I'll write it here. No, it's not. Not, okay. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, more questions. Anybody? Is for living? Sorry? Is it used for living? No, it's not. Good. That's a good question. Is it used for decorate, decorating? For decorating. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Maybe, maybe. More questions, guys, until you're um, sure. Is, is, used, is it used for, for garden? Or, but I need a verb. It is correct what you said. Is it used for the garden? But I need a verb in this case. For decorating garden. For decorating your garden. Mm, no, it's not. The pudding. Okay, teacher. Okay. Is it used for studying? Is it used for being on time, teacher. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh. I think that's the clock. Thing, the clock. It's the clock. That is right. Very good. Who guessed it? Lisette, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yep, it was the clock. Let me see. So that was the one. Okay, again, let me think of another is, object. Is it used for open? No, if you use for, you have to use gerund. Is it used for opening? To, to open? Ah, to open. Okay. Uh, no, I wouldn't use it to open things. Mm -mm. Is it used for writing? For writing? No, it's not. Follow this structure, guys. Is it used for? Right. For writing? No, it's not. Is it used for drinking? No, it's not. Okay. Is it used for organizing your papers? Uh, yes, it is. Maybe. 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 Yes, it could be. So ask more questions. How do you say egrapar? Do you have any idea? No. No. Okay, you say it like this. Is... 
engrapado. That's the verb staple. Staple. Yeah, and stapler is engrapadora. So ask me the question. Is it used to or for? Staple. Is staple? Used to staple. No, it's not. It is used to 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 put something on the uh, on the floor. On the floor or on the wall? On the wall, yes, yes it is. So what is it? Yeah. Guys, I hear children. Love noise. It's attack. Attack. A chuela? Uh, this is a pen. Pen. Pen? Yes, it's a pen. P I N. Yes, it is. That is the right answer. Okay. Very good. Good job. <laughs> Let me write pin for you. Please. Like this. It's a pin. Have you ever seen Pinterest? Ah, pin. Pin. Have you ever seen Pinterest? They have the, the logo. They have a pin. Okay. So um, mm. next week we don't have classes, right? The following week we do. And we're gonna play this game, but you're gonna play it in small groups. I will not, I will just be listening, all right? So that you can practice more. And I will also explain uh, how we use the passive voice, okay? So right now, a picture to see who was in class. There we are, sorry. That's it. Do you have any questions? That are not related no to the passive voice, no? Okay. Um, I will try to send you a video about passive voice so that you can study this week, okay? But I will explain okay. it once we come back. All right, thank you very okay. much, guys. I hope you have a beautiful vacation. Stay safe. All right, be careful and enjoy. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, thank you, teacher. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.